Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And as you may have seen in my previous videos, um, I'm going to be out of town this week. So what I am doing, I had to really quickly um, do some cards for a meeting that I'm going to be at next Monday. I don't know if I'm going to be back in time, but I wanted to get my uh, swap cards done. So if you are swapping with me from um, the Wii Stamp Team, stop watching because this will be a spoiler for you. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to show you. I needed to do a quick idea because I needed to make uh, 11 cards. And I just, we're running around trying to get all the travel plans and everything. But I want to make sure I did some videos for you guys. So we've got our hauls that we've done. We've got our... Um, different whatever I've done this week I do not know because I'm making all my videos but let's go ahead what I have here is I took a piece of tip top taupe cut it in half so that it is at four and a quarter by eleven so then we're just gonna I scored it right here at five and a half so I always take it's just this little guy. I don't know where my bone folder is still. I think I lost it last year um, when I was visiting family because I haven't seen it since then. But that's it. I fold it in in half. Then I have my sheet of paper and that is four by five and a quarter. And you know what? I had to think of a very quick, very fast idea because like I said, I need to do 11 cards, we need to get them done. And um, so I'm gonna go along the same line as what I did for my Happy Planner plan with me this week. And I had my sa So Saffron, my Mint Macaron, and my Blushing Bride. I just kept them out and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing. I've got my little um, card here, my little gift card. And I'm telling you, this is going to be quick and easy. If you are looking for a super quick card and a super easy card, this is it. So, you move everything up here. I am going to take this Blushing Bride and I am going to kind of make a little border here. I'm going to go in about a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch there and just swipe down. Then I'm going to grab my um, baby wipe here and just wipe that off and get rid of that ink. And that's it for the blushing pride. I can put that away now. Then I got out my So Saffron, doing the same exact thing. Lining up those. I love that that color that it makes, it's so pretty. I don't know if you could see that or not. Look at that pretty color. And then I'm just going to take that ink off as well. And then we're going to go to the Mint Macaron. This is a darker color. So if you wanted to go with like a lighter color, you could do that. But for right now, I'm going with the darker color. I just like these colors together. And then again, I'm going to go a quarter of an inch in, quarter of an inch there, and right about there. So that's it for that base. Then I'm going to take that card, put that away. I'm since I have the tip top taupe base, I'm also going with the tip top taupe tip top taupe ink. And I got out my little homemade 
positioning tool. So, if you have not seen how I did this, there is a video on how to make a faux misty. I'm now going to take from the occasions catalog all things thanks. And I really like this thanks for everything. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to put this card down. Now I could just put it on a, a block and stamp it, but I, I was doing many of them. So um, when I'm doing a lot, I just like to use these little guys as liners to know where I'm putting my paper and then where I'm putting this little guy. And then you can just put multiples. I, I actually was able to get this done very fast. It took me not long at all. So now I'm just going to ink this up. Close that down. And look at how pretty that came out. I think that was really neat. So I'm going to clean that off. And then last thing I'm going to do is just find a working <laughs> tape them a jig and we're going to put some tape on here and we're just going to give ourselves a little border here you guys and that's it look at that cute thank you card and you can always embellish it up but like I said, I'm short on time. I had to get 11 of these done. This is number 12 now. So um, I'm just going to leave it like that because I think it's rather cute. Just nice and plain. And this card, this looks like a card you would find in a uh, Target card section or something like that. I just think it's really pretty. I love the way that it came out. I hope you did too. If so, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.